Hello then, gang, and welcome back to an episode of me. Of me? Welcome back to an episode of me. But well, the question remains, what will the background be today? It's different again. There is a, it's a green screen in the background, but not a green screen background. It's a... Uh, I don't, Sony Vegas, you've caused me lots of pain today. Uh, not only that, Everton beat us. So things have been going fantastically over at Ben HQ. But no, since we last met in that Carabao Cup victory against Charlton with a second team, it was a 6-1 victory over Newcastle. And Newcastle... I mean, is everything okay? I'm all over the shop, viewers. I'm all over the shop. A 6-1 win over Newcastle, though. Very convincing performance. Delighted with it. Divock Origi getting their goal. And when he did it, it made it 1-1. And I thought, should we have sold him? No, it was absolutely fine. Uh, Virgil van Dijk putting in quite the shift. Two goals for him, two for Salah, one for Shakiri, one for Mane. Very good performance. Salah played up front in that game, and he's looking really good. It was then a 5-1 win over Shakhtar. A Sadio Mane hat-trick, the highlight of the, of the game, really, uh, sending off for them. And it was... Pretty much done there. Their keeper got an injury quite early on and just they refused to take him off. So it didn't help them. And as mentioned, the 2-1 defeat uh, to Everton, I was basically was just tortured by Vidal. Uh, Alexi Vidal on, on that side just, just just ruined me. Absolutely ruined me. Yeah, he's having a decent season. But yeah, in that game particularly, I, he was a problem. Two assists for him. Both goals came from that wider area with him crossing it in. And uh, yeah, well beaten really. So today, Arsenal, who are currently top of the league table. You can see there, we're on 18 points. Actually, well, they're not top anymore. Chelsea, are, well, things have changed. Chelsea top of the table Arsenal level on points but only separated by goal difference and we're a point behind so a big game in the context of the league season as well as Hoffenheim in the Champions League uh, so far two wins out of two in that so hopefully to make it three and that should probably see us through all, all, all being said uh, right then let's run you through the team for today's game as we focus on this game against Arsenal now defensively uh, I've, I've, I've kept it on our since our last uh, now, defensively, since we last played, issues. Uh, Nathaniel Klein can't play, which would be okay if uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold was fit. He's not fit, viewers. And neither Salah, at that matter, or Henderson, or Oxley Chamberlain, or Andy Robertson. We've got some issues at the back, viewers. So, we're going to change, then, to a back two of Matip and Lovren. Um, and Moreno's also got an injury. So, luckily for us, James Milner is going to fill in uh, in the midfield, which means we then have to change that around a little bit as well. It's not great, viewers. And at right back... What do you even do? Dominic Solanke? Probably not. I think one of our only options is to play maybe Lovren there for one game as sort of a fullback on defensive. This is this is not good, viewers. Actually, you know, let's put them on automatic duties. Lovren at right back. I mean, wow. Uh, everything else is, is actually not too bad. Fabinho plays in that deep line playmaker role. Ronaldo at box uh, box box midfielder. Uh, Fakir is the Mazala. I quite like that. So I don't, and although it says he doesn't like it, I quite like him in there. Shakiri one side, Firmino through the middle, and Mane on the left as that uh, winger role rather than trick with So Or maybe inside forward today, actually, with him and Shakiri doing similar jobs on either side. It's a shambles, viewers. That's what it is. All right. Klein off the bench as well. Trent's on there. This is not ideal, viewers, by any stretch of the imagination. We're playing Arsenal then. Well back in Mkhitaryan, out wide for them. Aubameyang through the centre uh, with Mr. Ozil Tuera. Oh, Aaron Ramsey's there as well. They've got quite a strong side. But Monreal's at centre-back, which makes me feel a little better. I think going forward, we're still pretty good. I think just defensively today, it is a worry. Right, I'm going to go for the passionate. Uh, I've got faith in you. Oh, they like that to begin with. Uh, go out there and make the difference, which I'm hoping they do. All right, they're in the 2D today. Uh, we're going to switch things up to 3D uh, when there's a highlight, of course. So, 3D fans, do not fret as Arsenal come forward within seconds. That Okay, defence. I mean, we're going to be very good in the air today, you'd hope. Roberto Firmino, he's just outfoxed them all. It's, it's there's, okay, the play's been waved on. When Adam's injured, I can't pick him, but Lalana comes on. This is not, we're, we're hurting here, viewers. Alisson, please not now. Alisson, please not, he's missed it. Aubameyang's missed it. I don't, I don't know how to feel. There's, there's, I'm either going to break something or just cry. So I, I don't know where this is going today, viewers. It's a meltdown of epic proportions. And I blame you, green screen. I blame you. Arsenal on the attack again. Bellerin on that side. And with our makeshift defence, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna settle for nil-nil today at home to Arsenal. Corner played in now. Whipped in. Headed clear. Ozil's going to pick it up. Back to Torreira on that side. For Keir, forced to Lallana, who boots it away. And good defensive work by Liverpool. To be fair, on the other side, they're not fighting fit. Like, Mkhitaryan is tired to they're struggling a little bit. Ramsey. So, it's not too bad. Well, like, Welbeck's in a similar position. They've just got, like, replacements that we don't don't have a lot of good replacements. A lot of tired replacements as half-time hits. Uh, Nil-nil. Maybe both teams will just settle for this. We should have agreed it beforehand. Like, it's time for everyone to dig in. Give everything you've got left. I think my only happy like point from this, really, is that Van Dijk actually is, is doing okay. He was a player that was struggling for a bit of fitness, but actually looks all right and might even see the entire game out. We have got a few fresh legs on the bench. We may have to change it up if necessary, as that's launched forward. Matip calmly back to Becker. Um, I, I keep calling him Becker because it says Becker. Allison, isn't it? Everyone, everyone calls him that. But let's see. Can we build from the back? It started with 
Allison, and now for Kieran Alana, very creative duo in midfield, not a partnership I would necessarily put together normally as well. That deflection nearly found its way in. Check with a save. It says that would have been some goal. Yes, but for all the wrong reasons. There's a corner now to Arsenal. Oh dear, played in. Header cleared by Matip. Shakiri doesn't quite get it away, actually. The clearance from him, not the best. And Arsenal continue to apply the pressure. They beat Camps and a half for large proportions of this game as that nearly goes in. Allison tips it away. It hits the post. Drama. Daniel Sturridge on the bench, I think, is going to get a run out here. All right, we are going to change things up uh, tactically just just a moment here. All right, so Sadio Mane not having his best game. So for Kier out there is that Trek Quatista that we're trialling him in. Uh, it's going out there. Firmino is going to drop in uh, behind uh, Daniel Sturridge, who's going to come on as the advanced forward. And not, not necessarily needing to press as much when you've got Bobby behind you doing the business. Um, and now the midfield too, we're going to have Lalana be more of a... Oh dear, I th just a, just a, no, but you know what? we'll keep him as box to box. He's got a good engine as, as Adam. We could actually bring Naby Keita on in these last stages, but no, we'll keep Lallana out there because he came on earlier. Everyone's actually, like, under the circumstances, everyone's not doing that badly. I've, I've said that now, and I'm concerned that Arsenal might find a route through. Klasenak on this left-hand side, ball put in, cleared or blocked at least. For the time being, viewers. We've gone slightly more attacking as we've got a free kick as Firmino's found on the edge of the box, of course, dropping slightly deeper now. Shot comes in just wide. And that's it's been a very limited game so far. Thrown for Arsenal. About 20 minutes to go. Again, changes for us are pretty limited. As another shot goes in, Smith Rowe with it this time. And Allison tips it behind. I mean, match stats wise, 55% possession for us. So we are in theory, we're dominating the game, although it doesn't really feel like it. It's a breakaway now, chance. Fakir racing forward and play, and players pining forward. Ozil is the man to make the challenge in the end. Bit a bit surprising that like unexpected i dare say so we've actually got a throw in as we continue with this highlight Ozil's header finds alana who picks it up in a slightly deeper position he's got lots of players ahead of him though it's forced back to lovren and now firmino now the creativity of firmino might be key here. he's a very very good player on fm19 um will we see the best out of him will he be able to slip in maybe daniel storage for something there's some nice possession play from us here but uh, the ball from milner shakiri hits the post oh drat shakiri's having a bit of a tough time today and he's on a booking as well i'm going to bring on dominic solanke uh to play as a winger on that side he's, he's relatively fast he's right-footed just fresh legs is it all we're going for at the moment and he's a decent finisher so if he gets the opportunity you never know as time seemingly ticks away here it looks like that's going to be that final chance for Keir. ball towards the back post joel matip that would have been a lovely time to score but i said early in the game i would take a nil nil and that's what we've been given. I'm just hoping that the players are fit and able for this game coming up in the Champions League. That is now the biggest concern ever. I mean, shout out to the defence, though, who have actually done a pretty good job. Well, I mean, let's just hold that thought as Arsenal pile forward. Matip, though, at the end there. Lovren did a pretty good job as well, playing at an unconventional right-back position. Van Dijk did well to stay on the pitch and be fit enough to play. Injury concerns with him, of course, playing already tired. Um, I'm going to say I'm happy with before. No, see, I don't think I can say that. I'm going to say... You were unlucky tonight because I don't want to say they did well because they've drawn a game in which they probably be, maybe could have won. Um, but we'll take that as, as Friday night fixtures go. That's why we're so tired. We're playing on Friday, okay? Uh, which does mean though, luckily for us, it should be a little while to the Hoffenheim game. Yeah, five games. Hopefully we're fit. I'll see you for it in just a moment. Ah, we're out of that for two months. <laughs> see you. See you soon. Okay, then, as we put the uh, the group to the top, you can see, somewhat surprisingly, in our group at the moment, Barcelona sit at the very bottom of it, whereas we're at the top. Eight goals scored, uh, one against, of course, that one shot our goal, and looking pretty good. Hoffenheim, the first time we're playing them this time, who beat Barcelona. Uh, now we have to try and beat them to almost guarantee, as I said before, uh, our spot in the last 16 of the Champions League. That's the dream, viewers. Team-wise, let's take a look at the damage. So as things go, after the shambles of last game, things have picked up, and actually, things are a lot brighter for us. Klein's still unavailable as is Moreno, Henderson and Wijnaldum but pretty much a full strength lineup. we can actually put our full backs back to the complete full back on support duties that are, are, are more prevalent with our system. Uh, so we welcome back then Andy Robertson back at left back uh, Alisson's still in goal of course. Van Dijk and Gomez that partnership that's played so well for me this year Alexander Arnold to play at right back as mentioned then Fabinho, Milner, Keita in the centre, Mane, Salah, Firmino that, that formidable front three. Uh, let's see how we do then with a more full strength lineup. You can see from the average ratings over on that side some very high ones all in the high sevens uh, some of our better performers actually injured today and haven't even featured that much but yeah you can see our top performers on a regular basis when Dyke Salah uh, Alexander Arnold and Robertson the defense playing very very well this year okay then uh, Joel Linton plays up front for Hoffenheim which is I, I quite like to see his name I've used him in the past on FM so it's quite nice to see him and Connor Rich as well who I do believe had a pretty unsuccessful spell at Leicester yes he did uh yeah unsuccessful was the right terminology but it's done pretty well at Hoffenheim and so far this season has started off not too bad a five at the back system for them or a three with wing backs at at least uh, could be tough to break down interesting today i've opted not to go for shakiri or for Kier, uh, in, in this one we're going for our sort of more familiar uh three in the center especially using catering that mazala role 
Okay, again, in the 2D. Didn't even see any 3D last last game viewers. Sorry about that. Apologies. Just not a lot of highlights, really. All right, you can see building from the back as Alisson plays it to go. As you can see, this is very much stylistically what we're looking for. Making the pitch nice and big. You can see how far out these, these two left-sided players are. I've just used my hand to demonstrate that. Ben, use the mouse, for heaven's sake. Um, but you can see, definitely available if needs be. But it also gives people space to run in the centre. And Trent making the most of that as Mane's ball into the centre. Finds Mo Salah at the back post. Scores the goal. Lovely from Mo. Love that. Sixth goal of the season. And Mane with the assist. It came from a darting run from Trent. But again, because of our width, it allows players the space to run through the centre. There's a lot of ground to cover for Hoffenheim. But this is great. Great work from Mane on this left-hand side. Lovely cross to that back post. And on the half volley, Mo Salah beats Bauman in the, in the Hoffenheim goal. And Anfield tonight then. 1-0. Lovely, jubbly. Let's have more of that, please. Corner for Liverpool. Milner plays it in. Van Dijk's there with a big header at the back post. And it's fourth goal of the season. Assist for Milner. 31 minutes gone at Liverpool rampant. Let's enjoy it in three dimensions. Milner, two arms to the back. We know it's going to the back post. And there's Van Dijk, look, on his own almost, challenging, or no one challenging him, and a lovely header. Are you using the, the far post corner tactic? I've mentioned it before. Are you still using it? Are you getting involved? It's it's beautiful. And that'll be at half time then. Hoffenheim, so far, not really in the game. Pretty dominant display from us in this first half, and we'll tell them so. Uh, passionately, so keep it up, I think. That's, that's what we're going to go with as we go to the team talk. Passionately, uh, very happy both things are going. Keep it up, lads. That's that. I've been saying no more. Playing really well. Do more of that, please. We should maybe get the uh, the old league table up as well on that left-hand side. So you can see Barcelona currently held at Shakhtar, uh, but we'll have a six-point gap over third position, which will, because of obviously teams playing each other, will give us a really healthy position to be in uh, if we can win this game against Hoffenheim. But some possession for them. First time in this game, really. There's a lovely arced ball out to that uh, right-hand side for them. They're forced back a little bit. You can see Mane there on the press. As soon as he gets it, Mane <laughs> keeps going towards him. Again, third time. Will Mane win it this time? Not quite, as uh, they work it. But no, Salah is there to cut it out. And he finds maybe Firmino. No, he goes himself. Mo Salah, lovely darting run, but couldn't apply the finish. Oh, I'd love to see that. The pace of Mo Salah there. Evident, uh, evidential. Evidential? Ever we saw it. Van Dijk, back post, headed it back across. Forced on Mane. Is it going to break for us? It's a free kick to Liverpool. Free kick to be taken by Trent Alexander-Arnold, who scored a free kick against Offenheim famously once before as he hits the bar this time and cleared decent opportunity for us very exciting start to the half viewers so far quite a quiet game from uh, Roberto Firmino he's on a 6.3 for his rating uh, so not having a major impact as he looks to press the ball there yeah he's not really been ma majorly involved as a pressing forward it's partly probably to do the, due to the fact that we've had quite a lot of possession as he sets up Sadio Mane there great save from Bauman I'll tell you what that should have been a goal ball played in cleared I mean Corners don't always produce goals, viewers. That's that's the lesson we've learned uh, this year on the game. Is it's cleared eventually by Hoffenheim. I think with with Firmino's performance in mind, we're going to get on uh, Daniel Sturridge up up top, advance forward, give him what he wants, and uh, see how he does. Again, building from the back. Always nice to see us do this. Like it's quite enjoyable to watch. Again, Trent with the ball went on a darting run last time, and we got a goal from it. it provides Salah with a pass this time, who takes on quite a few the shot wide. But again, nice to see us build from the back. Two decent runs, and a shot comes away at goal. I probably could have made other changes, but we've played some quite nice stuff, really. So I've left it as is, as uh, the final chance of the game, perhaps. That corner is pretty much over hit, as uh, Mane finds Fabinho, finds Milner. No, not this time, and that's probably going to be the end of the game, really. Got to say, the calmness of Fabinho in defensive positions. You don't really see, it's not the sort of highlights I would talk about or you'd see, but he's very, very capable in the middle for Liverpool. And that'll be that then, a 2-0 win after a decent point against Arsenal in the league, uh, back to winning ways in the Champions League. And again, that gives us a really good chance now of qualifying into the last 16, which makes this season that bit more interesting. Of course, finalists last year, if we could repeat that, that wouldn't be too bad at all. As Barcelona held at Shakhtar, good result for us that. And uh, it gives us quite a nice gap between the rest of the pack then. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like if you want to see some more subscribe to the channel as isn't it nice after all these years the Liverpool scarf makes it into a Liverpool episode I thought so